Hi everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 2. My name is Mikey Dubs and today's video we're playing more randomized roguelands with Zero the Assassin. Also, in my mods folder, I actually have things organized now with the ones I need favorited, favorited. So right now we've got Backpack Manager on, Roguelands Mini on, Photo Mode on. That's mainly for me later, but just in case I have that on. And a new seed for cross skill randomizer. So we've got brand new randomized skills, which has kind of been the the juice for me for this game. I mean, I feel like this gives it like all the spice that it needs. Now, I think over time, what I'm seeing now is like, yeah, some skills just really like ramp you up uh, faster than other ones, which I think is okay. It's kind of nice to get those super juicy skills from time to time. There was a time where I thought like, oh, I was getting money shot like a little bit too often. It was making my runs trivial, but I think I was getting carried by super hard luck then, and I didn't realize it. I was letting confirmation bias win the day there. Because I was winning runs, that must mean that getting money shot early is broken, which... Um, realistically, I don't think it really is. Money shot's a good skill, but unless you're playing Salvador with all Salvador's skills, it really doesn't feel like that broken of a skill. It is a nice DPS increase, but there's definitely other ways to get the job done, that's for sure. Okay, speaking of ways to get the job done, I see Onslaught from, from the rank 1 is an excellent kill skill. And I think Scorn definitely has juice. We take it because I don't have override cooldown with this character. It's a hard nerf to Juso's candy, the green one. But if there's ever a time that Unforeseen would work, it'd be right now, and it would be hilarious. We have Deathmark without Kunai. It's, 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 a, it's a sad combo. What's the combo we're dealt? Still don't know if Scorn, if Scorn applies Deathmark. I don't think it does. I think that the Deathmark, you can see it visually as well. So we'll be able to test that if we go to this path. I think Unforeseen is a slept on skill. That's why I'm going to take it first. I think it's kind of a slept on skill. Okay, let's roll. We're going to see how it can do against some robots. Let's just make sure that we have the right grenades and stuff. And, get, and also give the map some time to get the textures in there. Um, let's go for this homing corrosive grenade. And then this apparatus should be fine. We're going to be wanting to hit crits anyways. Go for, go for Calipine, but let's, let's give a Hyperion pistol a chance. Realizing that I completely wasted my action skill by not putting it on top of them. That's okay. All right, let's put it right here and slag up using scorn. Everybody gets slagged, and let's see. That's a one shot, all three of them. Okay, we might be juiced to the gills here. Use your action skill, friend. Use your get this. This is an easy kill. Walk forward, walk back. But it's these two that I want to group up. Keep them scorned. Scorn, we're a little bit of scorn abuse is happening. Toss it right there. They will, they will continue to close the gap, including the EXP loaders. Make sure the EXP loader is slagged up. Okay, that's all three of them again. And I'm losing basically no health. Give me a cooldown relic right now. Kind of need something that can that can punish enemies that decide to stick around. Okay, here we go. Toss it right here. Hopefully they get a little bit closer. I think they're both slagged at this point. That's good range. Totally slept on skill. Totally slept on. We go more points into it. Unforeseen. You, I think if you couple it with ambush, it just makes a lot of sense. You know what I'm saying? Wish I had execution, then I would actually go melee. But without it, I don't I don't feel the, the power of it, especially because I can't even melee because I have scorn. Let's not spec into it. With ambush it goes even crazier, but I kinda want to be able to reposition after kill. Also, I have a new movement tech for this map to get the pressure plate, so just bear with me. Okay. 
we run up here i've been i've been doing a trying to do grenade jump tech but after the 1.0.9 update you can't grenade jump anymore and I, and I have been able to do this jump from time to time oh one more time okay but that you don't need to do that anymore because oh that's a fire synergy i'm excited to use that even if it is bladed because new route is just this bad larry oh if i can land it there we go that's a pretty tough jump, but it's a lot easier than, I would say, a grenade jump, and it's easy, accessible. And we were rewarded with a fire droog. And a Diab that's here, that, and a nice Diab that's saying, hey, look, you could probably use me too. Oof. It is pretty beautiful. Okay. I can slag myself, it looks like, with with Scorn. Which is tough. Let's go ahead and grab the Vault Symbol, then we can roll. Pop this open. Melee damage plus 33%. Freeway Hulk. Alright, I think, honestly, we can run this. This will be fine. The bank stick goes. I'm sorry. It's it's fire damage synergy. It runs in. The maximized synergy pistols is specific what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about synergy in general. The droog we know it can be good. So let's just put let's just keep it on the back burner for now and bring the diab in. Yeah, the job stays. We don't need a way to slag. That's gonna be really nice for us. I can be a little bit more greedy. I can take something that's like. An armor specialist. Okay, we roll. As far as round ones go, I would say that last one was pretty good. This is a nice round to have an armor specialist. You guys are gonna see. Let's just get into position here. Remember, remember the game plan. Unforeseen. Slag up around. I get one there. The synergy should buy me some time. I can get to this guy's HP bar. Losing half my health, three quarters. Almost all. Should probably try to land the kill. Maybe get a heal juice, but shields are regening. Unforeseen, I hit it into the pole. Not my best effort. This is why we have a Droog. Everybody here having a shield is a little bit rough. Pyrex candy, or I think no, that yeah, I think it's Pyrex candy blue one. A little disappointed in that synergy's performance in that first enemy. To be honest with, honest with you, yeah, Pyrex candy blue one. Pyrex candy can be very useful in the rest of situations. I think that the synergy can maybe take a back pocket to a a nice scoped in purple anarchist pistol. You guys can tell me parts. If you guys want no weapon parts, um, I know this is Vlad off barrel, Hyperion sight. I, uh, to me, it looks like Tor grip, but I couldn't tell you. And then this might be Vlad off mag. I can't really tell. All right, let's see. Singularity, sure, why not? I don't have bore, so I can't just board the all the raid bosses down. If you guys have seen the, a couple of my recent videos, uh, I've been kind of just straight up bore abusing. Like I get bored, I'm like, oh my gosh, like I can one shot Hyperius. I can I can do a, a lot of other shenanigans too. And by the way, my last two boar Hyperius one shots were 100 to zeros. Now, that being said, that being said, um I my my most recent one, it wasn't 100 to zero. I did soften them up with some baby maker tosses. You guys missed that one. I think it's um I think it's gauge with boar. It's it's a recent one. I think it's uh like I forgot I forgot what skills I threw on that thumbnail, but I think it's got my guy even have boar in the title or the one that turns raid bosses into paper. That's what it is. So if you haven't checked that one out, that's a good one to go check out. Okay, now we have a launcher slot four. And we've adapted to using our... How about we toss our, our action skill, brother? That could help out. 
It's okay. Onslaught hard carries with a launcher. Let's go to this anarchist. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, it seems like those against ranged enemies is a lot harder to get the ball rolling with with uh, unforeseen, unfortunately. Let's go Onslaught. And I honestly think Ranger just makes a lot of sense. Ranger, I think, has slept on a little bit. Not a lot of it, but a little bit. The only tough thing is the max health plus 1%, because technically, if you really want to be min-maxing Borderlands, you actually don't want any max HP unless you have the means to scale it. And right now, I don't see the means to scale it. I see, I see Ward and Preparation. Okay, that's good. That's a good combination. I wish it was Willing from Actions Tree. Especially with Embrace the Pain, because then I might end up not doing any of the shenanigans at all. I, mean, I have blood filled guns and I have uh, elemental empathy and elation. So I have the, I have like the, the guts of Kree's heal build, his heal core, which is elemental empathy, which gives you the healing uh, for every status effect you do. And the elemental elation, which gives you the, uh, the fire rate and magazine size as you stack up bloodbath stacks by burning enemies, which gives you the heal. So I'm firing faster. I'm getting faster fire rate as I'm doing dots, and the dots are healing me. Right? And then you, you couple that with blood-filled guns that every time you get a stack of bloodlust, which each, each stack of that element gives you that stack. You also get even more magazine size with blood-filled guns. Like, ridiculous amounts. Yeah, you can get up to 100... You can get up to 50% max size for this, straight up. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. And then... Elemental Relation can give you up to... Is that really what it is? I think it might, go, I think it might get even crazier than this. Yeah, it does. So, as it ranks up, it'll go even harder. Same, same goes for Elemental Elation. We get a lot of fire rate in magazine per stack. It's kind of nice. I just got a Vault Symbol. I mean, it, the, the problem with the, the entire setup is if you, look at, if you read Elemental Elation, the stacks will not decay while you are on fire. Uh, so, like, that is kind of really necessary. Uh, for blood boy, for uh, if you're going to be going bloodlust stack builds, you really need a way to keep your stacks up. Cloud kill is nice, but I don't have it, so I just don't think we're going to be able to keep up our stacks as as nicely as we would like to. Bloodlust stack, stacks that is not that we really even need it though. Like realistically, do you, do you even need it? To, to do bloodlust if you just have the healing skills and enough fire rate to back it up i don't know you tell me right, i think we can roll let's take five points into <sighs> ranger all of a sudden i'm not as happy about it we do okay we do have a light ourselves on fire build with embrace the paint and that one with the gun which makes our sniper rifle sick nasty And Evil Enchantress and more pep. This is a ridiculous skill tree. The only thing I'm missing is delusional damage, which is a critical piece of the puzzle when it comes to Kree dot builds. And that is any element that you apply can also light you on fire. Which means that if we want to have our be dotting ourselves, which we don't necessarily have to, I don't think. If we want to be dotting ourselves, we can do it with any element, because right now we cannot. Just fire. I don't know if I even want to be dotting myself. I think be if, it ain't, if it isn't broken, I don't think we really want to have to fix it. Let's go down this middle tree and pick up a little bit of everything. Controversial take! Controversial pick! It's a terrible skill, don't take it. I think as a tier 2 
is a tier two, it offers a lot. Everything you do is better. All right, so this should be a somewhat easy enemy. Just scoring him. He should stay relatively close. I don't know if he got slagged or not. He didn't stay close enough to get the damage, though. We really, really lean on our anarchist to help us out here. Later. Deception's almost back up. Do not take my iridium. Thank you. All right, now we can put it on that ladder right there. These guys are staying a little bit further away than I would like them to. We just fight with high ground here for a sec. This is actually a, a spot that I haven't really considered. Okay, they are spawning in behind me, though. They spawn in over here. They fall. And then, uh, and then we ball. Let's go. Oh, toss that. Come on. Stay, stay melee range. Yeah, he is slag, though. I haven't fought any melee range enemies. If I was fighting Skags, this would go absolutely off. And everyone would be saying how crazy good it was. Just saying. Unforeseen, I'm talking about. My, uh... My shock ability. Scorn is a, is a broken offensive ability. It can definitely like, get us there. Okay, a little bit of Juso's candy. It is nerfed, though, because I'm rocking Scorn. So, sorry to Juso. Maybe it's not the run. There's not a lot of mini-bosses that you can reach with it either way. Around four mini boss. I don't really think there's any way to reach him. The Jusos. We will take it to increase our clear speed. Unforeseen. These guys are not even paying attention. Look at that. It's always a one shot to any target. Any target that it has hit, it has killed. I believe. Hey, we roll. Flatter we go. Did I get an angle that can actually climb it? Oh, I did. Loot midget. I don't want to call it loot midget too much because then I can say that I called it, you know? Fleet really does synergize with what we have going on over here. And so does Deception. It's just broken. And Embrace the Pain could keep our shields down. But I have a... A different kind of build going right now. I think we go war here. Is there some nice... Some, those are some nice shield numbers. Especially if we get ourselves, I don't know, maybe even an amp shield. And I'm not... I'm completely shameless. I will take B shield to the end of the game. I would take pistol fire right here. 31% fire rate is nothing to scoff at. And out DPS is a lot of things. Just because it has melee damage on the card doesn't mean the fire rate is bad. Uh, Not seeing it. The quartz spinning gun... Could be something funny. As far as damage goes, I don't think it's going to have enough for us. Not enough juice, I would say. Did I hit up the, the, the vault symbol behind the wall? I might not have. Let's just go check real quick. Don't worry, I got the pathing. Path check this one out. Boom. I don't see any iridium back there, but I do remember getting iridium. These are probably my relics. Uh, Dog Recoil, and I'll take second wind health. Ah, he didn't grab it. It's not even a bad skill to take. I don't know why I don't consider it. Probably should start considering my grenades, whatever they are. Probably a fire burst zone, though, which I do have. Oh, I have a singularity. Let's let's get let's get jiggy with it. We singularity them. Then we deception our clone in there, and then we and we kill ourselves. Okay, sing singularity. Don't worry, this this will work. Dude, you're focusing it way too hard. True, I am. By right, singularity, don't die in the process. Okay, deception right there. That's okay. The Their rubberize is a little bit troll right now. Singularity pulls them in, and that's the first time I didn't one shot. And Ironclad Lunatic did about eighty percent. 
I'm gonna say not even bad. Especially because I took off the class mod that, that juices it. For pistol damage. Okay. In that case... Let's run it right back. Let's, let's prove the doubters wrong. Give me an ironclad lunatic. I guarantee I one-shot it. Our right, deception right on top. they rubberized. They don't survive it. No way. Okay, that guy was outside the zone. He was outside the zone. Okay, we got a little bit of Oni. We want to be careful here. Use our onslaught advantage against these guys. Run for our lives. Don't take the grenade damage. Okay, let's see what we can do against Oni with a deception. It shouldn't be that hard to actually ding him up with scorn. He's just going to charge straight at me. Let's get a rubberized grenade in there because he's not going to take damage from that unforeseen, unfortunately. Keep my distance. Abuse some, abuse some scorn. Okay, I, I got it coming up right here. It's right on top of him. Check the health. Okay, you know what? That's not a bad chunk. That's about, I would say, 20% of an assassin Oni. We're talking one of the tankiest lads in the game. They let him do his charge. Okay, that... I think he might have pushed himself outside my zone of range right there. Definitely did. Well, he outplayed me. What can I say? Yeah, yeah. And this is starting to get a little bit scary, actually. Is that why? There's an ultimate badass lunatic chasing me down? Deception now. Oh, wow. I need to find myself some range and some cover. I hope it did some damage to him right there. It did. Now he's vulnerable to my Droog. There we go. Yeah, dude, he still, I think he's still got one lad up there helping him out. Don't want to shield the regen. We can just tap him with Droog from afar. 1.0.9. Can't die to the grenades. Sorry, Oni. You have officially become... Oh, a mid-tier boss. It just is what it is. Get nerfed, brother. What do you want me to say? I do want to check the... The stats of that Veritas versus this... Anarchist. I think the Veritas isn't even a bad pistol. Whenever time I use it, I, I kind of like it. Damage is lower. Accuracy is lower. Uh, higher. Fire rate lower. Reload speed. It has synergy with the shield. If I get the shield, I'll, I'll put it on. Okay. Definitely want... A transfusion grenade, and I'm looking for a longbow singularity. But without it, I think I'm just gonna go to this transfusion. Rubberized or the sticky lab with a 3.1. Well, longbow shock with a 2.9. Use time. I think those might have some juice. Alright, shoot oil can. Number one. We're going for these. We're gonna be. Not cocky, but we're going to be nice and safe making these jumps. Okay, a Ravager. Reroll. Oh! Okay, we rock. Okay, we, we like to see the Iridium, and we love, love to see the cooldown rate. Love it. Okay. Two more oil cans. Number one. Pow. Number two. Pow. Just had to get the angle on both. I'm playing zero. You know what I'm saying? Alright. Let's see. Melee shields are not going to be the juice for me this way. Longbow Crosa Transfusion with a 1.4 second fuse time. We would like it to be slag, but I have access to slag whenever I want. As you can tell. I think an Absorb Shield makes a lot of sense to me right there. Just got better stats. Speedy Shield. It's just so small. Ideally, I think I would like a... Just a big boy turtle shield, but... For now, we're not going to run it. I think Nth Degree might have some juice for us. I 
think it's almost time to start stacking elemental empathy. But at the same time, I think preparation makes a lot of sense. And we go for that speedy shield. Yeah, with a 1.18 shield recharge delay. Which is made even smaller. Now, I'm not saying it's better when it's smaller. But because it's smaller, I can regen it faster. Get what I'm saying? No, wait, don't run away. That's not... That wasn't part of our arrangement. You're supposed to stay here and punch my lad. Yeah, we do... We do rinse Colin, which is kind of good news and kind of bad news. Because this guy is going to go for that revive once he gets done doing what he's doing. And these other lads are way too tanky to mess around with. Okay. Yeah, this guy's is literally a, an ultimate badass psycho, I'm pretty sure. Feels like it. Just smaller. Ridiculous. Alright, any legendaries that aren't fish? Dang it. And they're literally called Thresher Bait. It's just a bait legendary. It's ridiculous. What did we get though? A new runner skin customization. I should probably put some respect on getting some of these runner skin customizations while I'm here for my account. Um... If the game will let me scroll down, which I don't think it ever... It never does. There we go. Oh, a little shortcut hack. Uh, I don't need the new head, the new skins, but that right there. Good stuff. All right, now it's time to see if we got anything good in our ethereal gift box. Oh, magic missile. Not good for me, but good in a run that would be that it would be good in. <laughs> a stink pot could be something. A Sir Hammerlock's cowboy. Uh, yeah. Thanks for making a super loud lightning shock noise in my ears. I just the orphan maker doesn't have a spot on the team. I, it's been shunned. Look at the look at the difference between the stomper and this cowboy. One has a higher crit damage. Oh, I can actually scroll down. Crazy. Uh, one has one has a higher crit damage, and one has has higher base damage. You know what we gotta do, right? We gotta try them both out. See which one's better, officially. Cowboy v Stomper. And we have a raid boss to shoot too. Okay, so we have a build that's kind of meant to stay alive during raid boss fights. Realistically. We might be lacking a little bit on the damage side. We are going to hold off on these five points. Because if I get a high damage shock weapon, I'm going to want to put them into that. If not, then I'm not going to do that. I have a lot of fire damage options. I should not have picked up that Snyder. What I'm really looking for is shock damage. It doesn't look like I'm going to get it. I think we should just take a magic missile. But Scorn is probably better. Scorn can't kill me the way that magic missiles do. I've, I have straight up lost a run with a magic missile. The same. Okay. Rapid Infinity and a Gub. I think the Infinity could be good. And so could a Gub in the right situation. I like this shotgun a lot. The TDR grip is kind of throwing me astray. And I have to invest in a sniper. I have to. And let's go pistol as well. I have an Infinity. I can lean on. Double launcher. Let's roll. Washburn Refinery. Okay, so I don't have boar. So the last bunch of times I've fought this boss, I've, I've had boar. Which has made things very easy. Do I think Unforeseen can get me through... I only have a Red Rye Singularity as, as it... To, to even begin with. Can I even Singularity these lads? With it? We'll see. 
Uh, we invested it in sniper ammo for this exact reason. Shock damage is not going to come into play here. So I think we just take probably the fleet. Because he's going to be zapping our shield all the time anyways. And then I think insight makes a lot of sense too. Scorn and pray for crits. Dang it, no crits. And he got his shield up. Well, we did a chunk to him. Not the greatest chunk. Uh, do we really want to give these guys a chance when I have a Gub sitting here? No. And I also have an Infinity. Let's see if we can't... Let's see if we can't group them up here. Just for a little bit. Does anyone get pulled in with that? No. These Reparized are going to be the death of me. Okay, maybe I can cheese it a little bit here. There we go. Okay, okay. I have faith. Good juke, Don. Right here. Oh, yes. Okay. It doesn't have to be perfect either. Just pull them in just like that. Scorn over the top. It's deception right in the middle. Let's just make sure. They all get popped and I get alone time on high peers while he's slagged. Tell me, tell me I'm not the absolute goat. Please. I'm waiting to hear it. And you just, just rinse him in the face with the Garnet Druk. Uh, these guys should be probably getting up cooldown shortly. I'm going to call my shot. A couple of scorns over the top. And I get alone time with the slagged up Hyperius. It's gross. And Pierce, I know that you don't like getting slagged, but I think this could be one of those times where you'd like, you like, you give up on that. And it's like, you should know at this point, like, after I just one shot and both of you guys in one wave, you should know at this point, like, this is not a fight you can win. Like, you should know by now. Or should we get Hyperius slagged up? And I want to have a second option. I should probably be taking a shot here, too. Realistically, I want to have a second option that can I can shoot at this guy. I think it's fire. I'm pretty sure it is fire. Let's just use this synergy. Ready for a crit? No crit. Eat the force authorized. We know Hyperius. I would like you to get slagged if you would. Thank you. That does not want to stay slagged at all. Alright, so we just throw our last deception on these guys. Make sure we score now over the top. And they're gone. There's still one left. Two of them are dead. Off cooldown. Off cooldown. Maximum Hyperius alone time. Maximum. It's kind of broken. Rock unforeseen in your zero builds. Unforeseen and bore. Ooh, kind of a throw. A throw take or pick right there. We're going to see how much uh, unforeseen can do to Hyperius as well, I think, here. But I really got to switch to something else. I was really hoping I wouldn't have to. There we go. All right, so let's put it right on top of him. Okay, literally right on top of him and spam for scorn. I really can't tell how much damage that did. I think he resists shock though, right? And does shock damage. Just going for those headshots if I can. All right, toss on foreseen at him. Take a couple scorns. There we go. Ooh, not bad. That's yeah, the same. Zero has the same idea I had. Not bad, brother. Not bad. All right, a volcano might serve me well. A Florentine could definitely serve me well. Though I already have a lot of ways to slag, namely just scorn spam. Sorry, it is what it is. If I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna use it. I want scorn. 
is one of those skills that gets a significant buff on other characters. And I'm gonna abuse it. <laughs> If you're wondering why I have such little brother syndromes, because I am. How we roll? It's like, yeah, of course I'm going to use the. I spent this entire time planning my own strategy. I, I literally Aaron Rodgers my gaming career. Step one: older brother gets game. Step two: older brother plays game. Step three: watch game. Perfect strategy. Step four: when it's your turn to play, you're an absolute beast. Step five. Older brother wants controller black. Step six. It's controller back. Step six. Um, watch them play the game until they're bored. But then there's that one day. That one day. When there's just nothing going on. You start your own save file. And you just trounce the game. You spent all that time building up your strategy. It's not fair. The first player. The, old, I, the older brother is going to be better at the game. But the older brother had to play the tutorial, learn the mechanics along the way. I, there I am figuring out the mechanics. Of course, my save file is going to be, you know, a, a level up. I made, like, uh, probably close to not optimal choices, but, you know, at least informed choices. Your second playthrough is always going to have more informed choices than your first. Okay. So we just basically unforeseen spammed. Hyperius down, which is ridiculous to think about. Okay, this is not the right sniper rifle for this location, but... Okay, not bad. We're I'm shooting this fire damage... Sniper is probably not what I want to be doing. Let's get my shield back. There we go. It is fine. Everything is fine. Do I have transfusions? I do not. Not on me, at least. Longbow corrosive. Perfect for the zone. Do I stick with Unforeseen Spam? Uh, after that first enemy, it's a tough call to say to continue with it. I, I forgot that I can send out Scorn while I'm aiming down sights. And that fact that that doesn't send its, its guy down here, I literally threw it directly at him. This is what it is, though. The Angelic Guard. Maybe we can Scorn, Deception. Okay, he should be slagged up now. If he's not, I'm sad. Okay, that's, that's not terrible. It's not a build-around anymore, I don't think. I don't think it's a build-around anymore. At that, at that point, I'd rather just take the... The pistol buffs. No? I still have a decent amount of cooldown on my action skill. I can use it on cooldown. Buy myself some time for a free reload and a repositioning. And take down one enemy at a time. I don't, I don't get what the big holdup is here. Boy, I thought Scorn might activate on these guys over here. Exception behind me. Get them to pull up. Oh, you, you realize that I can switch guns. He's like, that's not good. Like, our strength is that we have a different HP bar than everybody else. The only reason we get less respect is because we're a little bit less tanky than the armor targets. But if you let them stack up on you, like, they spawn in this big pack... And then, yeah, they're going to be good. Okay, super badass loader. I don't think we're afraid of big targets. We're afraid of big targets when our, our shield is constantly getting zapped. Let's go for an unforeseen here. It's not going to do that much damage because we did take off the, the class mod that, that juices it. Class one, one, one true transfusion grenade. We're going to have to eat. We're eating a volley here. Hopefully the transfusion can be thrown back to me. I'm taking cover. So we wasted a deception for sure there. And I, now I'm probably going to take a front and a back volley. Let's go ahead and just try to pistol this guy down. Break through his shield and then we can burn him. Okay, he's going to go down. Easy deception timer there. I'm out of grenades. Which is obviously horrible news. I can maybe snag a kill on one of these flyers. I have too many fire options right now. Maybe it is time. Maybe we just drop a conference call on him. It's not going to do that much damage to this super badass loader. 
but against some of these other lads it will okay so that's where badass loader can go take this guy out with our conference call and that'll post that 15 out of 15. here we go and we get the double shields a uh, double chests i think it's worth it and plus an extra iridium for the kills so don't mind if I do skis. Don't mind if I do skis. Okay. Let's go for... I think Shakana might have something for us. I think this tree is really important. But for now, let's just take the let's just take the gun damage bonuses. Let's just take what we're doing now. It's working. We scorn. We do good, some decent damage with a variety of weapons. Pick up and play is what I always say. Okay. The elemental build, sure, it'll be strong. But right now, I actually, despite having a fire damage rogue, I really don't feel like I'm. On that all set, even in the fire damage department. Especially if we're going to be rolling opportunity zones. Like, we haven't hit Heroes Pass, which I'm thankful for. The Hyperion zones are... The only time you're happy to see them is when you're trying to stack up Anarchy. Other than that, they are pains. Maybe we toss it right at him. That'll break his shield, at least, with Unforeseen. I can get a reload here. Unforeseen will break his shield. Yeah, and it did a lot more than that, too. Thank you. Speaking of which, if I'm going to be using... Yeah, I, I just run this gub, I think. Whoa! Rosso damage is fine against flesh targets. I can just stick with Frozen here, I think. Yeah, that's honestly fine. Scorn over the top. Unforeseen. That should take care of this lad. There's a decent chunk, and it makes it so he stops spinning. I mean, it's worth it. I should probably take this shot while it's going as well. Whoa! That's a hot loader. That's another engineer too that I wasn't accounting for. Yeah, that's just deception. That should hit both these lads. Scoring them. Okay, we're there. Doing the thing. This gub is popping. It's got that big side mag. It's sick. One shot. Oh yeah. That's easy. Easy sauce. Alright, so pressure plate is down here. Wow. <laughs> A whole bunch of just the same sniper. Basically. I mean, I know, I know the middle one was a Brachny, but essentially it's the, the tier twos of... Hyperion snipers, which I do want to figure out which one I like better. But they were all somewhat different, so... Okay, more offense makes sense to me. I think it could be time to go over some ricochets now. Let's just start applying our damage to multiple targets. Incendiary damage or override cooldown rate? Override cooldown doesn't really make sense here. Mouthwash is a must. Assault rifle damage makes a ton of sense. Especially if we can get Toothpick. That's that's the kicker. Because Toothpick is an exceptional rifle. It just choose three ammo, so you do need a little bit of setup for it. But once you, if you can get it off the ground, it does more than enough damage to get you through dragons. It's one of those, it's one of those that really pops off. I think that we can supplement our build here pretty well with just a a fire rate. We go accuracy reload speed. No, just a fire rate. I think I picked one up, did I not? Yeah, 31%. Then we go for Mouthwash. There's a loot enemy over there, by the way. And then we grab this Seraphim. We slag him. And then we're gonna go ahead and bag him. He's got a shield on. That Unforeseen should do some decent damage. Then I rinse with this Seraphim after. Not bad. Good, get crits to this guy, and he doesn't, he doesn't resist. I'm right next to a cliff. 
Get the crits, he doesn't resist. Get the crits, he doesn't resist. There we go. This guy's really gonna make me get through a shield again, huh? How about a little bit, a little bit unforeseen for your life? He'll tap here. If it's good enough for Hyperius, it's good enough for you. Just saying. Later, kid. Slayer of Terramorphous class mod. Not really what I was looking for, but honestly, the burn damage might might actually be sick. Okay, let's go. I don't have a way to decrease dots, I don't think, on myself. Oh, you wanted to get into melee range. Well, in that case, feel free to eat that. Then I follow up. Let's go. Onslaught gets me out. Scot free. A couple transfusions to top me off. The, the problem with the dragon fight with this play style right now is that they can keep damaging you. There is no, like, safety. You know? It's just about how fast you can move. But right now my movement is tied to... Tied to kills. It's not what I want. But for now, it's absolutely fine. I'm not at dragons yet, so... Is that problem when we get there. Alright, let's go for... This guy right here with an unforeseen. Okay, yeah, especially, yep. Yeah, those both for him with an unforeseen. I think he's a little bit out of range, so we're gonna take the shot. There we go. Alright. We should be able to get through this shield relatively quickly. Go for a re-slag. A re unforeseen to hopefully pull those guys both in. I wish I had singularity on that bad boy. It'd be sick. You're gone. Not a bad round. Team critical damage plus 50%. That makes sense to me. Fearless and ambush. Do I have fearless? I do not. I do have ambush now if I want it. I will next round. These skills are just absolutely atrocious is my problem. Let's, let's get these ones going for more movement speed. Insight is a way to get a ton of movement speed and reload speed after taking damage. It's a really nice skill against dragons, I think. Because as long as you keep strafing and moving around against dragons, it, you can survive a lot easier. It's, it's not guaranteed because you're still going to get hit, and if you get hit a second time, then you're dead. But at least getting hit that first time, you can, like, when you're panicking and sprinting around, you have a little bit more movement speed doing that. And onslaught also helps because when you when you get a when you get a second wind in the dragon fight, you're definitely not, I would say, you know, at the top of your game. That your mojo is probably lacking. Having that onslaught speed too definitely helps out. You just gotta be as unhittable as possible. So that means basically hopping. Hopping and, and throwing transfusions. If you have a grog, you can you can try to swap and do that shenanigans, but most of the time it's just hopping, throwing transfusions for when you do get hit. Besides that, it's Hope you can get a B shield and, and rip one down. If you can't get a B shield, go for crits and slags. If you have a crit slag setup, which I do, which is nice. I think I put on the the crit damage multiplier once. So I really need to hit some crits here. No crits on that guy, which is tough. Look at this little guy. Let's just get, take a view of the battlefield for a second. Man, I mean, maybe I do want the fire right. Okay, the, we land one crit though and he goes down. This, these enemies are just tough to crit. There we go. One crit, he goes down. Look at this guy. As soon as I walk forward, they're going to spawn around me. Yep, there they come. Save my deception for a second. This shouldn't be that bad of a, of a fight right here against this guy. I can hit all my shots pretty easily. I don't have to go for Chris. I will towards the end. There we go. This zone has ended many a run for me, so I'm, I'm not trying to mess around here. I wish we pop one beer bottle. All right, scoring over the top. What was grenade at my feet? I'm just trying to use the right weapon here. Everyone's got shields, but... Now you're going to get crit with a, a Droog and it's not going to feel good for you. 
The Druga, Druga is still my number one option, I think. Of course, overall damage. I see you. Is that what it took? I had to hop up. Who knows? All right, beer bottle number two. Don't want to be wasting my Druga ammo, though. This is a tough zone because you might have cleared all the enemies, but the ones behind that fence spawn in. And that's tough. I toss this here. There we go. Let's go for the body shots. Not bad. It's just, that's one Maga Druk. 1.1 Maga Druk. More like 1.05. Let me roll. Come out to play mortar. Does he go for melee strikes? What does he do? Drain his shields. And I'll, I'll land some crits. We'll take this guy down together. You and me. Let's go. Reslag. Mortar goes down. Just like that. Easy round. And we get a reward. Let's see. A lob singularity is, is decent, but a long low slag singularity is good too. Homing slag transfusion. It's fuse time is 0.5 seconds. It could be good. That's plus six and foreseen, plus five ambush. That could be good to that could be funny for mobbing rounds tier three. See if we can juice up our unforeseen enough. Make it work. Okay, TDR Chucks could go off the chain here. Do I have precision? I don't have rising shot, but I think I might have precision. No, it's at one with the gun. I don't have precision. I don't have any of the skills that get boosted by these class mods. That's okay, though. We roll. We roll what we're fighting, then make our decision with points. I would say... For this boss... Nth degree makes sense. Deflection damage is going to be crucial. Hmm... Let's take auto loader. That way, next time we do get points, we can put them into ambush. But as of right now, those points are completely wasted. If I take them right in that tree. And this tree is basically already capped out. So I'm, I, the, my next couple points are going to be a, a wash. They're going to be a waste. Hmm. Shock and awe. And let's do... Doesn't really matter. Let's go down this, down this tree here. Counter-Strike. Sure, why not? If someone punches me, maybe I can get a punch back for a kill. Who knows? Not the best point, but I've already taken all the skills in the gun tree that I feel comfortable putting in right now. All right, bring it on, homie. Easy slag. Easy bag here. Okay. He's attacking me, which is bad news, bears. I want to keep my same transfusions that I got. I think the long bows are just a little bit better overall. I'm in trouble because everyone's targeting me. There's not a single enemy that's not targeting me. I think I made a, a pretty big splash when I first joined in. So I need I needed this war to start, you know, w w raging on a little bit here. This guy look, doesn't look like he's gonna stop. He's chosen me. It, hopefully he'll switch now. I'm focusing down main effort. You guys do what you gotta do. This guy is so lucky. 
It's okay. Deception is going to help us just drop aggro. My torque vision is chilling right there. Okay, not a bad mag. Bottle Gobbler is de below half. Getting as many crits as we can. Bottle Gobbler to about 25%. Bad mag, waste a lot of ammo, swapping to an assault rifle. Make sure I have the right class mod on. Yeah, when I had the wrong one on before, I could have been reducing up my sniper rifle so much more. Do I want crit or do I want fire rate? I think right here is honestly, the crit damage is nice, but the fire rate was just doing so much more. There we go. 31% is not a small amount of fire rate at all. Take our time here. This is what we this is what we're built for. Staying alive. Good stuff. Alright, so a twister is nice, especially because I have ways to, to stack it. A ravager with a matching grip is is here as well to say hello. You could use me. You're not wrong, friend. I could use you. Let's see. Not the best max ammo relic. I wish I'd gotten something different, but that's okay. Got a head to drop. All right, so now, ooh, a Thompson. Thompson. That's a good assault rifle right there. Last time I used it, it absolutely popped off. Okay, we go ambush here. Absolutely. I, I just really like the way this thing functions. Extremely large magazine. Semi-automatic fire. I don't have to boost the fire rate at all. So I can put back on the critical hit damage and be absolutely 100% fine. Okay. My shield right now is what? It's just that, that small itty bitty shield, right? The speedy shield, but I'm juicing up to 90. The juice up to 90 is nice. I haven't really felt myself get into much danger. So, this is a tough call. I mean, I am going to slap on the the critical hit damage almost ass almost assuredly. Let's get hit, take a box take here. Okay, we have a corrosive Norfleet and a world burn. So we have officially have a launcher free situation. There you go. North Fleet and World Burn, depending on where we are. Our launchers pop. Okay, these could be good class mods. Yep. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Crit damage, reload speed. It's everything we could ever want. Do I Do I have a powerful enough shock weapon to get the job done? I would like one. I have a twister. I could always use that. Oh, we get a better legendary hunter. Right, let's leave that there. We'll give this one one more pop. There you go. Okay, so. Sniper. Is already pretty good. I kind of want to get. Shotgun some juice. Because the twister. I saw I feel some juice. Because of. That's probably going to be my end game. And grenades need some juice as well. And we can get the last 15 to some launcher. All right, let's roll. Terramorphous is an absolute gimme. Dang it. That's fine. As far as weaponry, uh, I think that this... This Thompson might have something to say in this fight. The Florentine probably does as well. Uh, which launcher do we go? We go World Burn, so we don't need this. We can go... We can try out different kinds of things here. The Gub doesn't have to stay. The Gub can get swapped out for the Twister. Because we want that shock damage for this boss. Here we go, we roll. Alright, let's see what you got, homie. I can scorn him. 
Cross a couple of those bad boys out. You hit me, I hit you. That's what's gonna come down to. Hit those crits, hit those crits. I'm not sure how much damage I'm doing, so I'm really focused on that purple purple ball right there. Okay, well that is one claw gone. That's not bad. That's that's a claw in first phase. The second one's always harder to get. Because there's gonna be a lot more enemies around, but maybe we can just use this bad puppy. I also did put some points into shotgun and max ammo, so we should be good against, you know, these kinds of enemies. If if Crow wants to stop knocking me around. A total jerk right now. Here we go. I know I have a sorry full relic out right now. Um, do I have anything better? Let's just do cooldown right, I guess. This will help me clear out some enemies. Go. That without velocity or anything, this twister fires so slow. All right, let's use that bad puppy. And see, see how much damage this Jacob shotgun will do to this guy. Not a crazy amount. It's deception for our lives. Wish I had bore. But we're fine. We live here. This is easy live territory. Transfusions came to find us. I think it's going to be back to Thompson. Back to Thompson. Back to some scorn. All these guys, if all these guys evolve, we are in some trouble. So let's go ahead and not let that happen. Give me some crits. Give me some crits. Okay. I think we got maybe one there. Here we go. Still scoring out there. Yes. Okay. Second so call down. Looks like we got some evolvers over here. I don't want that. What's super nice about Scorn is that you can just tap it while you're aiming down sights. And it will just send out there without the animation. Alright, so how are we going to be able to kill Craw? I think... I'm not sure if he does get... That does take more damage. Um, once his claws are gone. But not, I think he's a lot less, you know... Threatening. So we're just gonna try to spam him down with this with this Thompson, I think. I think it does have the juice. So we just start with some scorn. Let's keep the scorn up. Basically, I think I unless I have him slagged, there's really no reason not to keep up the fire on him. Not bad. Come on, scorn, go get him. There you go. There's the stag we're looking for, and another invincibility face. You don't. Want, you really do not want to be doing that. You. One bullet at a time against this lad. One bullet at a time. We were sad we didn't get Terramorphus, because that's what that's what our build is kind of set up to destroy. Oh, we're fine. With what we've got. We make do. The scorn is just redonkulous, though. Like, actually redonkulous. If he's not slagged, we will slag him. I think with my ricochet, I'm hoping that it... Enough of these bullets ricochet off. Do some damage to some nearby enemies, but I'm completely ignoring the the ads and just going straight for boss here. For some reason, I'm not down. I have no idea what's going on. I don't know how I'm still alive. But maybe maybe I should just keep going. <laughs> okay, we 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 have an easy kill here. And easy kill there. Let's go. Well, that was interesting.
Dude's wanted no PC. I definitely deserve some decent rewards here. Little Slaga for Slaga Laga. Unfortunately for Mr. Slaga, I have the easiest Slaga Laga ever already. Doesn't mean it's a bad SMG. It can definitely get you there in tier 3. That's for sure. What I'm really looking for is a B shield, but. A couple retchers. <laughs> some wretched retchers. Let's see, doll recoil and doll magazine size. That could help my my seraphim, but I honestly think the assault rifle gun damage is just better. Unless I get, unless I get like doll fire rate and doll burst recoil delay. That's I think that that would be best. Ooh, homing fire leech. Let's equip it. Okay. The, the projectile isn't that slow, honestly. Pistol and shotgun max ammo makes some sense to me. I still, because I still don't know what my endgame weapon is going to be. I don't know if it can be this Thompson. I don't know if the Thompson can get us there. But I think eventually I'm going to want it to be something that's fire. I mean, maybe the Seraphim can get us there, but the accuracy is just not. It's not. I don't think it's used enough personally for me. Could be wrong. The Seraphim is a good rifle. Strong enough for dragons? I'm not sure. We've had we've made, made a pretty well balanced Borderlands build here. I'm pretty happy about that so far. This has kind of felt like a, a, a gunner playthrough where I'm just kind of good at everything. Regardless of what it is. Which is kind of what you're going for. I think a better gub, I mean, if a gub is still, like, a number one option for me as far as corrosion damage, I think having, trying to get a double one is good. What's the difference between the murderer's gub and the extended fight gub? Magazine size 151. This one has a higher fire rate. I think I, I think I like that one a little bit better. I have stripped the flesh, but I'm not really going for strip the flesh unless I get like a really top tier explosive damage weapon. Like if I get an uncapped herald or something, maybe I go strip the flesh here, but until then I think it's still assault rifles. We can get this air from another chance. Once we go into the zone, we're gonna switch up our launchers. So Lynchwood, we're staying with the world burn. The Seraphim should be strong. I just need to, you know, not die. Now the Seraphim, it will be once it once I start going for fire damage, I think fire damage synergies, I think it might be good. But that accuracy is just not there. Meanwhile, I could just rock something like a Thompson and get basically guaranteed damage, even if it is chip damage. But also just like at least a way to crit, you know. Use my onslaught to get a little bit closer here. There we go. Let's land one one crit, and basically we're in the promised land. We're gonna score over the top here. Do what they do. They're gonna run. I think we shoot the guy up top first, and then we go for the skag down below next. Whatever this thing is. Yep. Yep. Got some transfusions out. Don't get hit too one more time and we go down. Okay, we're fine. We got transfusions out. And we're not fine. Not fine at all. Swap to world burn immediately. We are not messing around. We have auto loader. Deception out. Don't take that hit. Scorn. Hopefully I don't get hit with my own unforeseen this time. Maybe I wasn't. I think I might have just taken a giant hit from... That mutated lab rat that was chilling behind me. There we go. We have a little bit of our mojo back. Here we go. Very simple. That's why the world burn is here. It does its thing. And the auto loader makes it so that every time I get a kill with something else, 
Um, it reloads. Killing an, enemy, killing an enemy instant reloads all guns you have equipped. Which is very, very nice. Let's take some more points into... At some point, I'm going to want elemental empathy now. But the thing is, I'm not doing that many dots right now. Why I'm taking points into the better half, I couldn't tell you. But I think it's going to have a big, it's going to have a really big purpose in this run. Okay, we go pressure. Oh, speaking of pressure, the pressure plate's up here. It's tier three pressure plates. So let's, let's plug out of our gourd. We know where it is now. All right. It's the, it's the double use the chest to jump on top hack. So we use this chest to get on top of here. Boom. Which look at that. Legendary hunter class one with even better stats. Hard carry is a little bit worse. A slag butcher doesn't doesn't push us over the edge. A longbow bonus package. Could be good, but I kind of I'm kind of liking the transfusions. Tunguska can get stay away from me. Don't trust it. Don't like it. Not using it. Not using it. I'm gonna have a world burn and a a North Fleet. Keep that bus keep that sucker away from me. Taking a second to breathe here. And though my yap sensors have been off the torch, off the gourd, so I'm big chilling here. Just looking trying to see what I can juice up my run with. I mean Blood Terramorphus is okay, it's just I don't see it really being that important at all. Not even a little bit. The opposite of important. Okay. I don't want to fight from the ground floor here. Let's climb immediately. A pirate gunner. I can probably use this back here for some cover. Go for a crit. Once I land one, I should be okay. And that's a lot of damage onto me now. Stay crouched. Hope to not take another big hit like that. And our health should make it back to us. And our health's not going to make it back to us. But this guy doesn't run away. Okay, definitely deception here. Well, who's hitting me from that far doing that big... The big bursts of damage? Let's just, let's just keep it moving down this down this uh, hall here. That way I don't end up taking a million points in damage. Uh, vault symbol me. Destroy you. Deception out. Give me some time to breathe. Extra shot chance. Could go crazy. There we go. Thompson's doing the thing. What do we got? I've been graced with not as many, you know, ultimate badass enemies and things like that in this playthrough so far. There we go. 10 out of 10. Up up here. I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing. Are right, we roll? Judge or a roaster? I think I took the roaster, not realizing that I really didn't want the roaster, but that's fine. All right, we can stack up bloodlust now officially. At some point, at some point, I'm probably going to want to do a respec into. You know, dot damage based healing. Because I feel like that's going to be a much better and faster way to heal. Than what I'm doing right now. Elemental empathy stuff. That's why I think I'm so, like, stuck on the Seraphim. Because it's the Seraphim can dot up pretty good. And I can apply dots at a faster and better rate. So... But for now, it's, I think it's just Thompson. I think we just stick, stay true to our guts here. And just stick with Thompson. Hope that we don't get down. Use our, our shield tech that we're using right now. Just kind of cruise, honestly. 
It's gonna take a it's gonna take a concerted effort to bring us down. They're definitely stronger than the enemies we face. Now he's gotta prove it. Let's go. Pressure plate is up top. I'm, I will shamelessly use peak opener. Because I literally have the perfect build for it. Not absolutely perfect, but I have a special synergy I've been holding on to in my head for you guys. Trip the flesh will boost the grenade damage. And wires on top will boost the shock damage. It's like a little special. It's like, it's like this one is made for the peak opener. Put it out there. I feel like the, the Thompson maybe is like that early game answer, you know? Exception out. Maybe we'll get something for free here. It's unforeseen. I did get one for free. Bada bing, bada boom. Unforeseen still doing damage. Still doing damage, for sure. Okay, Leco or Pot of Gold. We go Leco. Let's go for Blood Filled Guns. And then this more damage, right? Gun damage while moving? Sure. So we need to climb up top over here in order to get our vault symbol. I think it's just as simple as jumping here and then up top. And then, yep. That's not our vault symbol, our pressure pad. Legendary Hunter. Hot Mama. Electric Chair. We take the electric chair. Unfortunately, we did not get a peak opener, which is sad, but we continue on. The vault symbol is somewhere over there. I think it, yeah, it's on the back side of this building right here. I'm going to grab that too. Should be right back here on this container. Yep. Let's see. Deputy's badge. Okay, deputy's badge could be okay. We just, I think right now we're still sticking with Thompson. It's just, just doing the most damage. I haven't tried everything out, but I feel like this damage on this bad boy is pretty good. All right, let's score now at the top here. Scorn also blows up all of the barrels and stuff. It's going to be a triple kill for unforeseen, by the way. Oh, not quite. <laughs> we cleanse him. Get one more here. Aim for that jet pack if we can hit it, or that fire pack if we can hit it. Oh, we hit it once. Someone's on top of me. Nope. We're good. Okay. This is the Jacob's Assault Rifle run. <laughs> Heading into the final rounds of the game. I mean, we are... We're not, I, don't, I wouldn't say that we're dilly-dallying at all. We just don't have a broken setup. You just have a well-balanced setup. Don't fall. Don't do this to yourself. I could have grenade jumped. I definitely could have grenade jumped there because it's not the end of the round, but whatever. Go around. I didn't want to fail grenade jump either. Okay. Let's hope that Spike Girl is not bugged out here. Nope. She's not. But I want her to target somebody that's not me to start. Oh, how I wish I had Boar for this. Uh, let's roll. Alright, shoot the abdomen. Spyco should get absolutely rinsed here. There we go. How did you get upset? What happened to you? <laughs> I do have the nth degree. A deflection might have hit him in the face. He's like, I'm, I'm just mad, okay? I'm just... I chose it. Should we make them battle it out? If we don't fight to the death, he will kill us both. Come on. Who do you got your money on, right? Oh, what a slam. Hey, whoa. I'm not I'm not in this competition. You made it mis- Don't you don't aim for the referee. Oh yeah, dude, that goose is backing me up. Unforeseen pops. Evening the odds. Oh. 
The villain's winning. Oh, the, the hero punches back. One, two, three, four. He declares thumb he interrupts the knockup. He goes for his own. No, he gets interrupted. The, the swipes, the raging. He goes. Slam. No, the slams. The, don't go for me. The slams. Oh, it's so close. Our hero. He's going for it. He punches, but he switches targets. The ultimate. This respect. Oh, but he goes and they both die anyways. It is what it is. They, they both betrayed me. They both die. They were, they were both going to die anyways. <laughs> oh, man. That was a good time. Okay. Some critical hit damage. It's got some, a certain something to it, probably, but not a certain something that I care about. We take Deathmark to see if it procs off score, and if it does, we go to the absolute geysers to the moon. We go for final banjo here as well. Must not be greedy. Anything anything else I want at all? I think it's time to just take just swallow my pride and take wires don't talk. We can get down that tree. There are things that I want down there. But we're heading into the dragon fight and we still have not swapped that build. A fire top and I could do something. I just don't know if the, the build as constructed right now can get us there, but it's something is telling me to just dance with the girl you brought. Okay, let's see. It it hits him, but I do not believe he is death marked. If I had to guess, there is no death mark happening at the current moment. If he begins hitting me, we will be absolutely fine. You do not need to worry about that. In fact, we just sit here and we go for crits the entire time. We don't have access to boar or anything like that. What we do have access to is lots of HP, lots of ways to heal back up. A solid defensive structure. With speaking of defensive structure, let's get some distance. Deception that way. Hopefully that it takes the missiles off, off guard here. Okay, you gotta go. And we toss a couple of these grenades out there. Always, always destroy those repair surveyors. Ow, yep, that hurt me. This fight's being a little bit more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. You gotta take out that lad. That's not. That's a, that's a must destroy. Having no cover in this fight feels pretty rough, but we're still alive. It's only the power loader up. Go for some crits while we have some time with the boss. It's a grenade launcher. It has a significant weakness. If I just run away from it, then I can beat it. Power loader. I don't mind keeping it up. In fact, let's swap to a Norfleet while we're thinking about it. And you probably would like use uh, use a retro or something, use a gub. I'm gonna dance with the girl that brought us. We go Thompson, Thompson. Okay, don't hit me that hard. It's just not cool of you. Good. Yes, yes, that's optimal damage for me. That's optimal damage. We got a little bit of time of optimal damage. I mean, you couldn't have asked for a better setup right there. Hey, he's, he's walking exactly where I'm walking. Go for crits. Optimal damage time. Optimal damage time. All you can ask for. Boom. Later. Slayer of Terra. Alright, game. You got one more chance. A beast shield would be mighty, mighty appreciated. There's the peak opener. There's the peak opener, and I think this is where we we we've been building to this moment this entire game. 
We do not have any Moxie weapons. We need a way to, to heal. Peak opener might get us there. Our, our inventory is completely full. I might, I might have to dump stuff out here for a sec. Yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, we sent all that stuff flying to the abyss. Okay, so now... We roll on the sanctuary, and here's what we do. I think... We don't need to crit to kill these dragons. That's the first thing. It's the first thing we gotta know. We don't need to crit to kill dragons. But... Does that mean that... I should be sabotaging my crit chance to do it? I'm not sure. A fire north fleet goes really, really hard in the dragon fights. Let's go. I, come on now. Show me... Show me what you're really made of here. A respect is definitely going to be in order as well. A lot... A sticky lob electric leech. I'm not sure if it's going to be better. Okay, so here's our respec angle. Okay, we got to think about what we're leaving behind. We need blood-filled guns. We have to get... Do we need it? Let's just see. Scorn. Wires don't talk. Elemental empathy. We can't crit. So this increasing our gun damage would go pretty nicely. Filter the brain makes a lot of sense to me. More pep. This does as well. Evil Enchantress on kill. Probably can get dropped. Strip the flesh kit does not get dropped. Neither does Ranger. Neither does Ward or Preparation. Fleet. Insight. Yeah. This looks fine to me. Impact. This gives us a lot of free stats. Nothing in this tree really matters that much. Except for pressure. And the better half. Okay, now we go nth degree. I think our build is complete. I would like an extra point in Wires Don't Talk and one less in Evil Enchantress, though. So let's just optimize this. I'll see you in a second. Okay, I am going to take one point in Auto Loader, but besides that, this skill tree is going to remain about the same. Um, I have some extra points here. I don't want to decrease my Shield Recharge Delay. Because I have a Transformer Shield that's going to be pretty helpful. So let's do movement speed. Movement speed onslaught. Let's go. I think that'll be good enough. Eight iridium. We're going to need that for the fight. And we roll. The winged storm. It is the final boss fight. The one that everyone dreads. To get these lads down, I need something with some supreme accuracy. Go Thompson. Yeah. It got us here. Might as well use that. No moxie weapons. This is my another chance to get a no moxie weapon run complete. I'm not going to be able to make use of this crit damage, but the cooldown and the reload speed sound kind of nice. It feels, it feels like just having fire it would end up just being better. Is that crazy to think? No, because using exception instant restores ten percent max HP. Okay, let's go. I always get this defense relic now. I'm not really too sure what it does. But I'm taking it. Alright, Mr. Green, get down here first. Maybe deception out I like the deception out right here. See if I can get as many of their primary first attacks to go onto my clone. Just like that. They all did it, except for purple. Speaking of purple, let's make sure we score. You cannot crit with this weapon, so we are kind of being chilling right now. Come on. I was hoping those dots... I mean, we ended up killing the dragon, but I was hoping those dots would keep me healed up, but it did not at the end of the day. All right. So we need to get down another enemy. Oh, looks like boost came down. What's up, homie? Okay, crits are not possible. 
and we're being spared by our shield from the the shock damage evil monster there you go healing at the invincible uh, we're gonna go uh this dragon next if we can oh no he looks like healing comes down let's just go ahead and use honestly i really don't know what to use against this guy i was hoping to get down red next i guess it's just seraphim Not the best weapon in the world for this, but it's something. I don't have him slagged yet, so. Yeah, that's, that's actually quite bad news. The dot should be doing just fine against him. I mean, our damage isn't horrible. So it's not peak opener level. Would the peak opener do better, do you think? I doubt it. It doesn't, that's not gonna matter. Ooh, okay, don't die here. We want to get Incinerator down. There we go. Get Incinerator down. Keep Incinerator down if we can now. And I'm going to want a grenade that isn't a Fire Leech or a... Uh... Yeah, Fire Leech. I'd rather have an Electric Leech. Come on, don't kill me. Electric Leech. Oh, it's going for the top guy. I should have kept on the Fire Leech. No. Here we go. Let's get, let's get some my, my peak opener here. Slag. Deception. Slag again. Burst. We're gonna get there. Keep the slag up and running. There we go. Down goes Frazier. We have a transformer shield against Helianth. He's the only one left. Ladies and gentlemen. Alright, so what's our weapon of choice here? We can go... Something that's high damage fire. How about a Droog? I know that we de decreased our crit damage. Let's just pop a Droog in here. And you know what? I'm gonna do respec for one second. So basically the point of this respec is to ignore a uh, painous power, which decreases my crit damage and gives me bonus gun damage with everything except snipers. So I'm gonna be using a sniper. So I want to not take that. And I guess we will take Burn Baby Burn or Embrace the Pain. I don't want either one, but I think Burn Baby Burn has less of a negative impact. We go at one with the gun. More sniper skills, more sniper skills, and the elation. More pep. And then I would say Insight. If we do take damage, getting just being faster. Fleet as well, being faster. Auto loader and then unforeseen. Sure, why not? So now, with this sniper rifle, even from the hip, we should be absolutely trouncing this guy with crits. Okay, let's try one more mag and see if I can get a little bit more accurate with it. On land those crits, homie. Land those crits. Not bad damage. Okay, you go up. I'm gonna t t t tag you back down. I also have a sorry full damage on. I don't. Know, I think I could. I do have an incendiary damage relic. I could. I could definitely have that incendiary damage relic on instead. Yeah. So incendiary damage instead. This should be a lot more of a one shot. Yeah, I think that was much better. Okay. Very nice. Very good dragon kill. Very clean run. A very, it was a well-balanced build that kind of got us there to the end there, and then the extra healing from Elemental Empathy, I did, as I was watching it, was doing quite a nice job. Very sick. Anyways, thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. Subscribe to see more videos like this one. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.